Hello everyone. Today I am going to take a class on a busy month. During and at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to one recall some common birds they have observed in their surroundings. Two identify birds based on their color, size, call, beak, and feet. Three discover that. April or May is a busy month for bird nesting. Four, recognize the enemies of birds. Five, understand the importance of teeth in other animals. In order to achieve these learning objectives, I will go in and around RA Mysuru campus and let you all know the importance of birds in our environment. Now, this is April. This is a busy month for birds. The birds lay their eggs, build their nests, and take care of the young ones during this month. For this bird watching activity, I have with me two interesting children, Kilion and Gayatri. They study in demonstration school, RA Mysuru. Children, are you all interested to go out and see what bird watching is? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, very good. For your information, RAE campus in Karnataka is a huge campus with many number of trees and plants. So, there are quite a good number of birds residing and nesting in our campus. Come on, let us all go out and try to explore and watch their nest if available. For this bird watching activity, we have with us Dr. Vareshan Tangpu, Assistant Professor in Zoology, RA Mysuru. He has an expertise in bird watching for the past 13 years. Oh, ma'am, that is more than my age. Yes, dear. So, children, let us welcome Dr. Tangpu. He will help us in identification of birds. Shall we? Yes, ma'am. Yes, children. Hello, my dear young friends. Hi, sir. Very good. Today, before we go out for bird watching, I must tell you that birds are so fascinating creatures on the earth. They are so appealing to listen to their chirping sound. And they are so colorful, very easy to study them. They indicate the health of our environment. Sir, can you please tell us few tips on how to identify birds? Good. How to identify birds is a very good question. It's very easy to identify birds. Birds can be identified by their size, their color, the call they make and the niche they occupy. That means if you tell me, I saw a bird which is the size of a sparrow, smaller than sparrow, bigger than sparrow. Likewise, a size of a crow, smaller than a crow, bigger than a crow. I can tell you the name of the bird. If you tell me the color, blue color, greenish color, black color, grayish color, I can tell you the name of the bird. Likewise, if you can mimic its sound, the chirping sound, the creepy sound they make, I can name the bird. Likewise, the niche they occupy. Niche means the position when you see them. Top of the tree, middle part of the tree, on the ground or near to the ground. I can tell you the name of the bird. So just look around, observe around and tell me any of this character. I can tell the name of the bird. So before we go out for bird watching, there are three rules. Rule number one, maintain complete silence. What is that rule number one? Maintain complete silence. Very good. Rule number two, you have to move in a group. Not somebody moves that side, another one to the right side, and we don't know which birds we saw. Move in a group. Rule number three, make a list of the bird you have observed today in your group. Okay? So for this bird watching activity, your madam has given you 
one book each, which is a guidebook, which acts as a reference, one each. And along with this, we have a binocular. Okay? This binocular, you give it on your neck, one each. We move together in a group. You also give it there, slowly. Yes, which may cost about 5,000 to 10,000 rupees. Okay, now will you follow me for bird watching? Yes, sir. Yes, children. Now we have all our equipment to go and watch the birds. Are you all interested? Shall we go? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Okay, now follow me. We'll go for bird watching outside. Look. There is one blackbird. It is a crow. Which crow? We don't know, sir. Do you know Kilian? No, sir. It is a house crow. Now look carefully the glossy body and ashy color around the neck and the breast. It makes a call like ga ga ga. Can you mimic its sound? Ka ka ka. Good. Now look at the beak. It is very strong. It feeds on anything that can be eaten, like grains, leaves, meats, insects, and also the eggs of other birds. That means it is an omnivorous feeder. Sir, how many eggs does it lay? Good. It lays about three to five eggs. Look. There is one blackbird. Is that bird also a crow? Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Another black crow. This is called as jungle crow. Look at the purely metallic black. Everything is black here. Black beak, black body, black leg, and also the black feet. This is more ferocious than the house crow. This is a busy month for birds. Observe the mango tree. There is a bird with a red moustache behind the eyes. It even has a broken black colored necklace. Which bulbul is this, sir? Look, that is the red whiskered bulbul. It feeds on fruits and insects. There is a nest built on the window of this building. This is a classroom and due to lockdown, since there are no students here, this bird has built a nest here. Oh, there is a baby bird in the nest. Yeah, yeah, look carefully, carefully and silently without disturbing them. There are three young ones inside the nest. Now, the mother has come. Two young bulbuls fly away with the mother, now left with the youngest one in the nest. This will also fly away from the nest very soon. This, in fact, is a busy month for the birds. Yes. Look at the greyish colored bird sitting on top of the tree branch. This is called a spotted dove. There are prominent white spots on the body. Come on, children, let us try to imitate the call of this bird. <laughs> Sir, what does it eat? Yes, it feeds on grains, seeds and insects. And also it lays about just two eggs during one breeding season. Yes, again this proves that this is a busy month for birds. Look at that bird there. Yes, the bird is sitting on the window of the old building. Observe the brownish black body with white patches on its wing with its tail raised. This is Indian Robin. What does it eat? It feeds on insects and spiders and it lays two to three eggs in its nest. This is a busy month for birds. Which is that colorful bird? Yes, look at that. The colorful bird is a cobersmith barbet. It has a green body, yellow throat, crimson red at the breast and forehead. Look carefully the red color legs sitting on the branch of that tree. 
it feeds on berries moth and termites it lays two eggs in its nest april and may is a busy month for birds now look at the glossy metallic purple color with yellowish white breast this is a male sunbird observe the long curved beak sir why does it have a long beak yes kaidri it has a long beak look at that this long beak is required for sucking nectar from flowers sometimes it also feeds on insects and now this bird lays about just two eggs during the month of may yes as we all know this is a busy month for birds here comes the next bird observe the brownish body with black head and tail is this also a crow no this looks like a crow but it is looking like a pheasant therefore it is called as crow pheasant notice the sharp beak for cutting and eating hard food stuffs including snakes it lays 3 to 4 eggs during the month of may oh now look at that young friends look at that crow pheasant fighting with a snake could you see that yes sir yes sir look 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 at that they are still fighting finally look at that the crow pheasant has swallowed the snake the snake becomes the victim of this crow pheasant this is a common noisy bird it has yellow beak yellow nape and yellow legs yellow yellow dirty fellow no this is common myna it makes a chattering call like radio 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 will you all repeat after me children radio 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 yes very good look at the strong beak for breaking and crushing seeds sometimes it feeds on insects it lays 4 to 5 number of eggs during april to august this as we know is a busy month for birds look at the white head and breast and brown body and wings could you see that this is called brahminikite notice also the strong feet with pointed claws which is used for catching smaller animals and look at the beak which is very sharp curved at the same time pointed which is used for tearing and eating fishes and other meat how many eggs yeah it lays just two number of eggs during the months of april and may children now that we know the drill this is a busy month for birds yes now look at this black bird look at that brilliant red marks on the top of the head this is called as indian black ibis sir why does it have a long beak yes this long and curved beak is used for feeding of small fishes frogs earthworm and insects now look at that it is digging the mud it, perhaps it has swallowed the earthworm look at that this female also lays 2 to 4 number of eggs during april to june now look at the most interesting bird found in arai campus this is called lapwing it has a long long yellow legs for walking on the ground and it makes a very interesting call like did you do it did you do it did you do it can you mimic its call did you do it did you do it did you do it did you do it exactly it reminds us whether we have done our work perfectly or not it also feeds on ants caterpillars and vegetables and it lays 3 to 4 eggs in its nest built on the ground sir now look at that brilliant blue bird with deep chocolate head the beak is very big yes the beak is large strong and long 
It is used for catching fish, tadpole, lizard and grasshopper. This is a kingfisher. Why is it called a kingfisher? Yes, this is called white-breasted kingfisher because it is an expert in catching fishes in the water. Now, it builds its nest early in January. Sometimes it goes up to August and it lays about four to seven number of eggs. Oh, look at the woodpecker. It has a golden yellow body and a crimson crown on the head. It builds its nest on the trunk of a tree. Yes, my dear young friend, look carefully. Look at it big, sharp and pointed like a surgical scissors. It feeds on insects, termites and sometimes on nectar. Now it lays only three eggs during February to July. Wow, children! See how interesting it is. It is a busy bird drilling a hole on the trunk of a tree as its nest. Isn't this so fascinating? Yes, ma'am. Now, look at the bird building a nest. It is hanging upside down. Is that a sparrow? No, Kilion. It is the size of a sparrow. This is a weaver bird with yellow head and neck. This is a male weaver bird. The nest is very beautiful. Yes, Kaitri, it is. Interestingly, the male bird builds as many as seven different nests. And the female, being very juicy and very proud, chooses one of the best of that seven nests for laying of eggs. How many eggs does it lay? It lays four to seven eggs in the month of April to July. Oh, it is so interesting to watch birds. Now, look at that big tree. There is another black bird. It is called Asian coil. Now, this bird exhibits sexual dimorphism. That means male and female look differently. Look at the male. It has a metallic black body. It has elongated body, smaller than a crow, but the tail is much longer here. Interestingly, the male makes a very interesting call. It makes like... And the female is having dark brown body with white spots. And it makes a sound like... Can you repeat that? Yes, it sits on the top of that big tree and it feeds on fruits, berries, insects and sometimes snails. Interestingly, this bird never builds its own nest but it lays its one or two eggs in the nest of a crow and other birds and the crow will take care of them till it hatches into a quail. Isn't this bird very smart children? Yes ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. Let us now look at the big tree. On the branch, there is a big bird with a uniquely large beak. That is helmet-like beak. Is this hornbill, sir? Yes, this is called grey hornbill. Look at the unique beak and large enough. It feeds on fruits, mollusks, scorpions, insects and sometimes smaller birds and it lays about one to five number of eggs during April to June. Look at the wire. There's a green bird. Notice the black line on the throat. Like a necklace. Yes, like a necklace. It makes a call like Children, come on, repeat after me. Yes, that's a very interesting bird. It is called green bee eater. Can it eat bee? Sir, can it really eat bees? Yes, it feeds on bees, ants, wasp, and also all types of insects. And this bird lays about four to seven number of eggs in the months of April to 
July. Children, we have known through this bird watching that every bird is busy doing something or the other. We got to know that this is a busy month for birds. Come on, let us tell our line once again. This, this is, is a busy, busy month, month of birds. birds. Very interesting. I think, my dear young friends, you have enjoyed watching the birds. We have observed all together 20 number of birds today. So keep watching the bird and keep protecting them. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Now you can go back to your classroom. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye sir. sir. Children, did you both like the bird watching activity? Yes, ma'am. Come on, share your experiences with me. Ma'am, it was very interesting. Yes, Gayatri. Kilion, what about you? Ma'am, I learned about birds many things and the birds was very beautiful, ma'am. Yes, Kilion, I agree with you both. Even I have learned many things. We have to thank our professor, Dr. Tang Pu, for teaching us so many good things about birds. Now, we have studied about many birds. Let us learn the enemies that birds have. Do you know that birds also have many enemies? Ma'am, why do they have enemies? Good question, Kilion. The birds' eggs and their nests are destroyed by many animals. Such animals are the enemies of birds. Ma'am, which are those animals? Yes, those animals are crows, squirrels, cats, rats, snakes and surprisingly we humans also steal their eggs. So these are the enemies of birds. Children, now that we know birds and their enemies, let us talk about feet of birds, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now I will display few pictures on the screen. You have to tell me which bird it is. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Which bird has a web-like feet for swimming? Ma'am, duck. Very good, Kilion. You're right. Then, which bird has strong feet to hold the tree branches? Ma'am, barbet. Very good, Gayatri. That's the exact answer. Which bird has firm and big feet for hunting and catching small animals? Ma'am, kite. Yes, Kilion. Now tell me, which bird uses its feet for climbing the trees? Ma'am, woodpecker. Very good. Now tell me, which bird has long feet for walking on the land? Ma'am, lapwing. Yes, Kilion, exactly. Do you remember how it makes its call? Yes, ma'am. Can you do it for me? Yes, ma'am. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Yes, very good. I am very proud of you children. Now children, I will display the pictures of beaks of birds. You have to carefully observe and tell me the food which they eat. Okay? Okay ma'am. Yes. What about this beak Gayatri? Ma'am, this beak is used for tearing and eating meat. Yes Gayatri, you are absolutely right. This is the beak of a Brahmani kite. How about this beak? Ma'am, woodpecker. Yes, very good. Woodpecker has a strong and pointed beak for drilling holes in the trunk of a tree as its nest. How about this beak? Ma'am, it is for finding insects and worms. Very good, Kilion. This is the beak of a black ibis. It has a long and curved beak for picking out some worms insects and even snakes from mud and shallow water. Now tell me what about this beak? Ma'am, it is Mina, but I don't know for what. Yes, even Mina has a strong beak for breaking and crushing seeds. Now what about this beak? Ma'am, it's the beak of a crow. Ma'am, it is used for eating and cutting many kinds of food items. 
very good children you have identified the beaks also now tell me do all animals have beaks no ma'am they have teeth also yes kilion very good now i am going to show you few animals you have to identify the type of teeth in them okay okay, okay ma'am what is the function of teeth in cows ma'am cows have large short and flat teeth it is for chewing grass very good gayatri how about cats ma'am cats have sharp teeth for tearing and cutting meat okay how about snakes ma'am this is cobra it bites animals and swallows as food yes cobra has two long curved special teeth called fangs what do we call them fangs gayatri fangs yes the fangs they help them in swallowing the animal as a whole now tell me about the teeth of a squirrel mom squirrels eat on fruits and seeds exactly there is a very interesting thing about the teeth of squirrels the front two teeth of squirrels keep growing throughout their life isn't this very interesting yes ma'am they keep gnawing their teeth on objects to stop them from growing ma'am that's very interesting yes gayatri indeed it is dear children there is a lesson in your evs textbook chapter 16 a busy month for birds in that chapter a person named giju bai badheka from gujarat has written a letter to the children on april 13 1936 he has written about the different birds that he has observed in the month of april now can you tell me how many years has it been since giju bai has written the letter 2020 minus 1936 is equal to 84 years yes it's been 84 years do you have a grandmother or a grandfather who is 84 years old no ma'am my grandfather is 80 years old okay kilion are there many birds now or were there many birds at that time compared to the present times Ma'am my grandfather told me that there were more birds those days. Good. Kilion says that these days the number of birds has decreased. What might be the reasons? Ma'am because birds have many enemies. Exactly Gayatri. Can you name few enemies that the birds have? Squirrels, humans, rats, crow, etc. Yes. Very good. How is a human being a enemy for a bird? Humans destroy eggs and their nest and some people even kill the birds for food. Exactly. What will happen if we kill all the birds on the earth? Ma'am, there will be no pollination for plants. Yes, Gayatri. Ma'am, if there is no birds there will be many worms. Very good, Kilion. If we kill all the birds on the earth it will cause harm to our environment there will be a lot of disturbance in our environment we have to protect the birds yes or no yes ma'am yes do you both protect the birds yes ma'am yes i'm very proud of you children clap for you both thank you ma'am yes now tell me how do you protect the birds ma'am we should not destroy their nest ma'am we should not kill the birds Very good children we should not destroy their nests or break their eggs or kill the birds the birds maintain a balance in our environment yes or no yes, yes ma'am so the best way to protect birds is to leave them freely as they are do not disturb their habitat this is a busy month for birds for laying their eggs and building their nests and taking care of the young ones So shall we all protect the birds? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, very good children. Did you all like the class? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, even I had a lot of fun with you all and I got to know very new things about birds and the environment. Thank you children. Thank you ma'am. 
This is my message for all those who are watching the video. Keep watching the birds, do not disturb their nests and let us protect the birds. Thank you one and all. Wear a mask, stay safe. Thank you.